Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 7th of March 2023. I hope you are keeping well. Uh, in a moment I shall be attempting the Guardian medium level puzzle. A Tuesday medium level usually means easy. Uh, don't It's not always true but um, there are a lot of given digits on this particular puzzle to begin with so uh, it, it might turn out to be the usual kind of thing, uh, which is where uh, a Tuesday puzzle is suitable for beginners, I think, to play. Um, but I don't think I'm going to explain the rules. Um, you can check out yesterday's game for a detailed explanation of the rules of Sudoku. Um, uh, I am always an optimistic person. I think it's part of my personality to be optimistic. Um, but, of course... Uh, when it comes to progress, we have to understand that it's not a straight line graph and things go up and down. Uh, fluctuations in, when in terms of progress are always going to be there. Um, at the moment, things don't seem to be going very well for the world. We are, are in a period where fascism is on the rise and stupidity seems to be <laughs> boundless. <laughs> um, uh, it's quite amazing. But... Um, uh, sometimes things come along to remind us just how much progress we've really made. Yesterday, on my day off, uh, I was watching some YouTube videos, and you know how sometimes you get suggested something kind of randomly, and you think, why? I don't know why that's come on my feed, but uh, I I'll watch it anyway. And uh, there was, uh, uh, I was offered the ch chance to watch a documentary about um, the, the book, um, a Kestrel for a Knave, and actually, really, uh, the movie uh, known as Kess. And if you are British and someone around about my age, if you're over 60, uh, it's something you have to know. The movie Kess was uh, incredibly um, well-known uh, uh, at the time. The early 70s, I guess, it came out. Uh, actually, I think the film was made in 60, late 60s, but late 69 or something, but I think the movie came out and was popular in the early 70s uh, and this film was about uh, um, well it w first of all it was a film by Ken Loach and he was really um, doing something new because he was using uh, not professional actors but people who lived in the locality and this was set in Yorkshire um, and uh, the accents were genuine and uh, the acting was very kind of uh, realistic and Biting, I think is the cliched adjective that people often use about it. But um, yeah, it was a great film uh, and it was funny and um, sad and, and, and political as well in a way like of um, uh, pointing out the, the, the people who worked in the mines at that time and uh, coal mines I'm talking about and um, the educational structure and stuff like this anyway uh, uh, a well-known UK um, TV personality um, decided to go and make a documentary on that particular area and he talked to the kid who was uh, the actor in the film in the late 60s and he's a few years older than me I think he was 65 or something when this documentary was made about a year ago or something and uh, it was kind of I could still see the facial similarities there <laughs> um, but anyway um, getting to the point of this uh, is uh, they showed you know excerpts from the movie uh, short clips of it and it reminded me of uh, how things were in those days uh, for kids who went to uh, secondary mods I, I didn't I went to a grammar school but uh, kids who went to those secondary modern schools, which were really not great places. And then they cut to, the, they wanted to film at at the place, at, at the actual school, but the school's been demolished and it's been replaced with a fantastic looking building. I can tell you that it was great. I love the open and bright architecture and stuff like that. And he interviewed um, Greg Davis, he, he, the um uh, runner of the uh, the um, spokesperson for the documentary, the narrator. I can't think of the word presenter. There we are, <laughs> presenter for the documentary. He um, he kind of interviewed the kids that go to the school in that location now, and what a difference! I mean, you know, you could just see how bright they were and uh, interesting questions, and uh, that they could follow along, and uh, just a whole huge change 
in life in that area from when the pits were uh, operating and it was a very depressed area. And the changes in the teaching staff who are much more committed rather than, you know, whacking kids with rulers and uh, pretending to be um, football heroes like Bobby Child and stuff like that. It, it, it was really uh, a, a great thing. But, you know, of course, this is the point is that progress is made on a really long term. And when you see flashbacks like that, you get to see the progress that has been made in society. And when we see it in a kind of short term way, in like in one or two years or something like that, or sometimes even in five year periods, you know, uh, we often miss out on the, the, the long term progress. We don't see it because we're in a negative. We're, we're in a negative direction. I think at the moment we're in a bit of a negative direction. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? All right, I'm going to start with uh, pointing out that this seven blocks both of these two squares here and this seven blocks this square in this column. So I'm going to start by sticking a seven there. Um, and then looking around to see what else we can do. It's been noisy outside today. Um, sounds like the... Um, the, f the office staff are uh, going to work already, but it's an hour early. I don't think they start yet. I think they should have an hour, hour before they begin work. Anyway, eight block up here like this. So that's going to give me an eight in this square here. Uh, we have the eight blocking down here and eight across here like this. So we know 8 is in one of these two squares here, blocking across here, and then the 8 blocking down here. So we'll give ourselves an 8 there. We have six blocking across these two rows here like this, so that gives us a six. In that square, six blocking down here and six across here, so that'll put six here. Six is going up and up, and there's a six blocking across here, so that puts a six in that square for sure. Can't take the sixes any further because we'll be left with that pattern there. Now we have two blocking across here like this, so that puts a two into that square there. We also have two blocking down here, so two is in one of these missing squares here. Em missing squares. Squares aren't missing. Squares are empty. Two blocking down here and down here, so that gives us a two there. Sounds like my computer fan is m making a high-pitched whine again. Or maybe I'm hearing it from somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, seven blocks this square here. So seven appears in that square there. Then we have sevens blocking across like so, which will put a seven into that square there. We have sevens across and up here. So that gives us a seven there. And then seven down to the bottom and across here will give us the final digit seven. Now we've got a number to fill in here, which is a three. So let's do that. And we have threes across like this, so we'll place a three there. And uh, now, of course, before we had sixes in these two squares, we've already placed the two there. So look, just to double check, six is blocking across here. So now we can get that six. We could at a moment ago. And now we can say six is blocking up here and across here. So that's, <coughs> excuse me, where the six, the final digit six lives. Um, in this column here, oh, excuse me, try to go down a column in a straight line. In this column here, we don't yet have a digit one, but we have a one blocking here. 
and a one blocking here and a one blocking here so this square is the only square not affected by ones from the left radical socialist ones five blocks across here and here is our five five and one block down here so five and one must be in these two squares here and this will be a four and the last number that we need at the top here will be a nine one number to finish uh, this block here which is a four so we'll put that in now we also have four blocking across here which means this must be a four four blocks up here and up here like that and gives us a four in that square there's one empty square for this uh, column down here now and that will be filled with a two um, right what's left to be done Um, let's have a quick look and see what we still need to do. Well, two and four block across this row here, so that means that these two squares must contain two or four only. Um, just trying to see if we, yes, so we have four blocking across here and the four that comes in there blocking down here, that will give us a four there. Um, now we have four blocking up here. Remember, four is in one of these squares blocking down here, four across here and across here. So that'll be our four. And the last digit to fit here will be an eight. We have eight blocking down here and blocking down here. Here's our eight. Remember I said two is in, this is a four and two, right? So two blocks all the way down here and that will give us a two in that square there then the two blocking up here and from wherever it comes in one of those blocking down here two across here there is our two the last number to place here is going to be a nine uh, nine uh, nine blocks across here like this so nine must appear in this square then we have nines up up and in that square there we have one empty square here for this block or this row whichever way you want to look at it it's going to be a five and we have five up and five down here so we know this is a five we just need a one for this column and um, we already know this is two and four so we can get this it has to be a three right so three blocks down here, this will be a three. Uh, we just need a one here. One number missing for this row looks to be a five. So five blocks down here and it gives us a five here. The last number to place here is a nine. Nine blocks up here and across there, there's our nine. The last number to place here is a uh, two and that two blocks across here so we get ourselves a two there the final digit two the last number to fill in here is going to be a three and the three blocks across here and up here that gives us a three the final digit three there we're just looking for one number here which is going to be a four and the four blocks across here and up here like so that puts the four in the final digit four there we have one number to fill in for this row it's a one the one blocks down here that gives us a one here and now we just need a five in this square and this square to finish today's medium level puzzle as expected uh, a very easy game for a tuesday that's it thank you very much 
come back if you want to uh, try some of the more difficult level puzzles today or go back in time and check out the other medium level puzzles and easy level puzzles if that's your thing. Thank you. Bye bye.